Hey, Miss Morphew here. Thanks for your email about where to find the exit card. I'm going to answer some brief navigation things for you. You can see I am as a fake student here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that any updates as a student, I haven't taken the quizzes. I've got one more email and those notifications will be helpful to you and you want to keep them cleared out. This Ask a Librarian, literally hit that blue Ask a Librarian vertical box there and you can chat with a librarian if they're manning the booth. Um, Learning Center, you can make an appointment with a tutor. They're on for the summer. And then we have some instructor information and the word navigate. Below navigate, there's a number of links and directions like to do this, go here, do that. But that's a lot of reading. So let me walk you through what you need. You're on the home page. You've watched the two short videos. You maybe clicked the when to meet. That's optional, but it helps me know what day, what hours on Tuesday or Saturday we might have you pop in for office hours when you need. Here are our nav bars, content, that's going to have most of our stuff, links you don't have to do, but I put it all in our course outlines to go back and look at it sometimes. Those are extra things, and the ones that we're going to need are already in your course outline. Communication is going to give you your email, it's going to give you your discussion boards, but you'll also have links that'll take you directly there. And um, what else? Class list, if you need to find your base group members. And then the word assessment you has a pull down there and you're going to do Dropbox and you can check your grades and feedback, that kind of thing. So let's go to the one you're going to need for exit card week one. Clicking on content will open up a box on the left. And these are our modules. It looks scary, it looks like a lot of stuff, but a lot of these things actually have duplicates. And what you can find is, is also in like one little place. After the syllabus, and you'll have this module called Course Outline Quick Links and your full term calendar. So I'm gonna click that because if you wanna get to any of our course outlines without opening up each of the little boxes and finding the right week, you can come to this quick links. What you're asking about is in week one, June 3rd through 9th. So I'm going to click that. And if you're on Chrome, it'll work. Sometimes on Firefox, it's a little iffy. I made this so that it can be mobile responsive. You know, you can look at it on your phone. So forgive this skinny format here. But you'll go through all the little notes, blah, blah, blah. Again, if you want me to just tell you in plain English so you don't have to read it all, let me know. I will always do an audio uh, babble. This one is ten, almost 10 and a half minutes for the week. I'll tell you, there's about 32 required minutes of viewing, and I put them listed, and I put some optional things in there. So that's up to you if you find something that you need. So our tasks seem daunting, but often they're quite simple. We're gonna give you many tasks to get a taste of all of this academic communication and things that will help you understand who you are as a speaker. So here's the survey, by the way, take the speech anxiety assessment tool. The link is there. And it's just an online survey, print the thing out. And their speech is a bigger deal. Connecting with base groups, there is what you wanted. You wanted exit card week one for your class. I'm gonna make that a little big by doing, I'm on Mac, so I'm doing command, but you could do control, command plus, 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 makes it bigger. It says, once you've gotten all the other tasks done, your video, you've replied to your friends, those other little tiny tasks, you will do the exit card. So that link should take you to the exit card. It's also duplicated in the Dropbox. So you could click Dropbox and you'll see the attachment you could download. One big trick I use when I work on my lap, my desktop, is instead of clicking on the link, 
I hover over the link and I use two fingers and tap on my trackpad. You guys know what a trackpad is? Or right click on your mouse, hover, two finger click, and I see a box that says open link in a new tab. So when I do that, I can just navigate by clicking on the tab. Here's your exit card. Here's where you can download it. And all it has is three gains you want from the class, two local businesses, organizations, or resources you think are wonderful, or one that your named community needs. And one more thing you want to say to your instructor at the end of the week. See how easy that is? If you don't know how to submit to Dropbox now, that's another story. But I also use YouTube a lot. If this is called Brightspace, or D2L, Momentum has, is the name Ron State has given it. But if you ever want to say, how do I download something or how do I go to Dropbox in Brightspace? You can find stuff there too. I hope that helps.